Hi, welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals class. And this module today, we're going to be looking at the dot plot and showing you really how you can use this and where you go find it. So the dot plot is really used for showing a distribution of values. It's fairly simple. It looks kind of like a column chart, but made out of dots. And again, it's supposed to show you a representative sample of each of the distribution of your data that you have. So the, the sample that you see on the screenshot, obviously you're not looking at 54,000 dots but it's a representative view of what that looks like compared to the other data that's on the screen as well. Uh, so this one's going to be developed by Microsoft. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to actually download, import, and use this one. All right, to download the dot plot, you're going to go to the custom visuals gallery, which you can find by going to visuals.powerbi.com. And then you'll scroll down on the visuals list here. You'll see it towards the bottom and you'll find it called dot plot. You'll go ahead and select the dot plot and download the visual and save it somewhere that you can easily find later and import into the Power BI desktop. You also find the Microsoft sample here as well that gives you a little bit of a view of how you can use the dot plot. All right, once you've downloaded it, you can go work your way over to the Power BI desktop, which I am at right here. And then we'll start by actually going to pull in some data and show how you can import that data and use it inside of a solution here. All right, so for ours, let me set up the scenario here. For ours, we have some data that comes from amusement parks. And so we have amusement park visitor data that we'd like to pull in and be able to see which of the amusement parks has the highest visitors, or the most visitors by park. So to do that, we're going to start by going ahead and getting the data that we want for this data set. You'll do that by going up to Get Data. So I'll select Get Data here. And I'll select that I want to pull in data from Excel. This is going to be pulling in from an Excel source again. Most of our examples have been that because it's easy to connect to. So I'll hit Connect. And then I'm going to go navigate to the location where I have saved this. By the way, you'll find the link to where you can download this file if you'd like to follow along at the bottom of this video. And so I'm going to pull in from the data section here. I have an amusement park visitors file that I'm going to go ahead and select. And I will hit open to pull that in. All right, so it's going to import the amusement park visitor data in. This is going to be North America amusement park data. So I'll select the North America here. And I don't need to make any additions or edits or transformations to the data. So I'm just going to select load to go ahead and bring that into the data model. All right, that's going to load that uh, set of data into the data model. You can see the data appear here on the right hand side. Now, if I want to place this into a dot plot, I first need to go ahead and import the dot plot visualization, which we downloaded a few moments ago. So to do that, you'll hit the ellipses here to import the dot plot visualization. You'll get the little warning here that we've talked about many times now about custom visuals. I'll hit import. And then we'll go find the custom visual called dot plot, which I've saved in a central spot here called custom visuals. I have one folder for it. And I'll scroll down to find the dot plot visual, select it, and hit open. Now, this one's fairly simple to show. We'll be very quick in doing this one. All you have to do to use the dot plot is select the dot plot visual here, like so. I'm going to go ahead and make it take a little bit more real estate here so we can see it really well. And then we pile in the different columns or fields, or really in this case, the metrics and the categorical values as well into the dot plot. So I want to be able to measure the visitors by amusement park. So I'll select visitors here. And I'll also select the park name so I can see a distribution by all of the amusement parks that I've collected data on. Now, this is interesting. It shows me quite a bit of data here and it's all representative. You can see the Magic Kingdom in Disney World is the one that has the most visitors. Uh, you can see followed by Disneyland in California. And I can kind of play around and look at the rest of the data here as well. Now, there's some also some formatting that we can apply to the data as well. So if we don't want to be able to see things like decimal places after each one of the values above the dot bars here, you can go underneath the paintbrush here to find the formatting section. So go ahead and find the formatting section inside the field well here. And so you can see there's quite a few things that you can do as far as being able to manip manipulate how this visual is shown. Most of these are pretty standard for all of the Power BI visuals, things like turning on and off the title. You can see that up in the top right there. Uh, being able to add in a background color, you can certainly do that in here. If you'd like to add a background color, you can do that. That's built in and capable here. You can also increase the transparency. All that stuff is built into all of the Power BI visuals. I'm going to revert that back. You can also lock the aspect ratio, so that way as you resize it, it keeps the proportions of the chart. And then under general, you have things like where is it actually positioned in the landscape here. I can turn on or off a border if I wanted to. Very easy. What color do you want the border? You can affect that. Here are our properties that are specific to the dot plot. Uh, you'll see things like the data color. So if I want to manipulate the data color, I don't want it to be that standard Power BI blue. I can change it to really anything I want here, like the yellow, for, for instance, or purple, or whatever you prefer. So the fill color is adjusted underneath the data color section. You can also change the data labels. So if I want to turn off the data labels, you can do that by flipping them off or flipping them back on. 
And you can also, in addition to that, change the size of this. So you, the size obviously is a little harder to read, so you can increase the size there a bit if you'd like. And you can also change the decimal places. If you don't want to see decimal places like they're showing right now, I can remove decimal places, make it zero decimal places so it's a little easier to read. There's also some formatting you can do in the data model itself on that data to add things like comma separators and such. You can also come down here to the bottom where you can take in a uh, display order. If you want to pull in a display, you can, uh, or display units, excuse me. So that would be like if it was in thousand place or millions, you can adjust the display units there as well. Right now it's set to auto, which means it inherits it from the data model itself. The dot plot is pretty simple. Again, the old goal of it is to be able to show a proportion of data across a chart. And in this case, the dot plot does a good job of this because I can see at a glance, it looks like the Magic Kingdom Park here is the one that has the most values associated with it, followed by Disneyland California. And so it does a good job at showing representatively here how all the data lays out and where the most data points or the most units of frequency are for my data set. Hope you guys enjoyed this session. Look forward to the next one with you.